Good morning everybody and welcome to the Great Cheshire Rally. As you can see, I'm with Tom from Cheshire Metal Detecting. Now, you may have noticed that there's not many people here. There's none. In fact, there's none. <laughs> well, that's because we didn't tell anybody. <laughs> Only me and Robbie knew about the rally, you see, so. Just me and Tom, so that's it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's not been a good start because for a start I'm having a bad air day. The belt on my trousers has broke and they're falling down. So yeah, that's the band of <laughs> So we'll just have to take it from there. Right. We'll catch you all later and we'll see what we can find. Bye for now. See you for now. <laughs> right then everybody. Well I can only apologise for the traffic noise but I am very close to a road. Anyway, this is the first signal and the first target of the day. Uh, about five or six inches deep. Looks like a half penny. Um, and without my glasses I can see Victoria. So it's a very nice first little find. Right, we'll pop it into the boxy thing and we'll plod on. Well, as you can see, Tom's over there in the distance bimbling about. Looks as though he's found something. We'll have a walk over in a minute or two and see what he's found. Right, we've got another target down here about six inches deep came up at 69.70 on the ID scale and we've got another coin and it looks like George the third another nice little find right we'll pop it into the box and we'll plod on <laughs> Tom, Tom, say, Tom says he's in the cash mode on the machine so he's expecting a hoard <laughs> I'm not expecting bleeding. Ah, oh, it's only a one-way signal. Yeah. Ah. Hello. <laughs> right, I'll get back to you when Tom's found what it is. If I freaking find it. <laughs> now, judging by the numbers he's getting and how deep he's going, I'm guessing at iron. <laughs> oh, I hit something then, I think it is. Oh, oh is it something? Oh, shit. <laughs> and there's the offending object and what did I say a big lump of iron ah well you can have that right time for a brew catch you later everybody did you enjoy finding that Tom it's a uh, it's medieval pot oh it's not a Roman pipe then no it's a medieval pot made of iron all right okay right <laughs> <laughs> time for a brew Right, my good friends, we've got a target just here, only about four, maybe five inches deep, came up at 74 on the ID scale, and whatever it is, it's in VAR. Now, <laughs> knowing my track record with coin balls, it's more than likely a button or a load of rubbish. So... Huh. Uh, hold on, lost it. Oh, come here. Well, I think it might be a little. Oh, it is, yeah, it's a little ball button. Uh, so that's probably quite old. Uh, clean it up a bit later on and have a better look, but that's a nice little find. Right. We'll pop it into the boxy thing, and away we go. Right then, my good friends, we've got another target down here. It's about seven inches deep. Uh, came up at 71, 72 on the ID scale, and it's another coin. Although, once again, <laughs> I think it's probably going to be a coin of nothingness. But it's still a nice little find, so I'm quite happy with it. Anyway. We'll pop it into the box and have a look later on and see if we can get anything off it. But I doubt it very, very much. Okie dokie. Right, I'll check the hole, fill it and we'll move along in that direction over there, my friends. Right then, my good friends. Uh, we've got another target down here, only about six inches deep. It's a little bag seal. I don't know how old it is. I can see some writing on it. It says, hull which is where a lot of the grain 
and seed came from that was imported into the country. It looks as though it's got some sort of design on it, but we'll clean it up later on and see if we can identify it. Okie dokie, right into the bag with it and best foot forward. <laughs> right then, <laughs> this looks like the kind of day when all I'm going to find are coins of nothingness. Uh, I mean it looks nice and green, it could be Victorian, it could be anything. Anyway, we'll pop it into the boxy thing with the rest of the uh, nondescript coins and we'll get a bit further. Right then you good people, we have yet another coin. Um, you can see it just there, it was about eight inches deep you can just see what's left of the imprint just there a little bit of green in the soil well that's the coin uh, <laughs> oh dearie me i haven't got a clue anyway not to worry it's another nice little find so we'll pop it into the boxy thing and we'll get a bit further Right, I'm just having a look at Tom's finds because it, it, he's found a, a powder measure which is that lead item there presumably for measuring out gunpowder and putting down the barrel of a gun Musket In a musket? Oh yeah. right, that's a lovely find that, well done I say I found one of these before Yeah? On, it might have been on this field as well Oh right, so, that's a lovely find Right, time for another brew, Tom. Yeah, definitely. Right then, we've got another target down here. It was about seven, maybe eight inches deep. Uh, it's a huge musket ball. It is a big bugger as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice find all the same. That's the first one I found today. Right, we'll pop it into the bag and get a little bit further. Right then, well at last I think we've actually got a coin that's worth looking at. Uh, it's, it's deep, it's probably what, six, seven, eight, nine, about ten inches deep. It came up at 81 on the ID scale and it's right down there my friends. And it looks like a sixpence. You can see that. Uh, not quite sure what kind of sixpence, but I think it's a sixpence. Oh, I think it's a bull head sixpence. Uh, George the Third. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not bothered who it is. It's a lovely little find. Oh, that's made my day. Right, we'll pop it into the boxy thing and we'll see if we can find anything else. Oops, dropped it. Ah. Right then, on to the next find my friends. Another fairly deep one, about 8 inches deep. Uh, it's another coin, just there. But I'm afraid it looks like another nondescript one. But I'm not bothered, it's another nice little find. And uh, this field just keeps giving up coins. So, we'll pop it into the box and I think I'll go for a spot of lunch. Right then everybody. That's Tom and myself done for the day. As you can see, everybody's gone home. Yeah. <laughs> and they've forecast heavy rain and thunderstorms and it looks as though it's on its way over now. So, we'll say goodbye and I'll catch you all at home later on for the roundup. Okay, okay. Because we're going to the pub now. Yes, we're going to the pub now. <laughs> see you all later. <laughs> Take care. Ta-da. Bye now. Right then, now we've got home from the non-existent rally, let's have a closer look at the finds. Well, that's just some of the rubbish that I dug up. Ointment tubes, bits of lead, bits of copper, bits of aluminium, etc. Little buttons. Um, that one there has got some serious age to it. Little ball button, probably from the 1600s. Obviously a big musket ball. Lovely white patina. Another homemade projectile. That... I made a mistake with it. I thought it was another homemade projectile, but it's not. Because when I cleaned it up properly, I realised it had got a hole through the middle. So it's probably a bird net weight. Could be from the 17, 1800s. That there, I don't know what it is. I thought it was a button, but it's not. 
it did have quite a lot of gold gilding on it but I still don't know what it is maybe some kind of leather decoration the bag seal that I dug up I can't find any rectangular examples of it on the internet none whatsoever plenty of round ones obviously but no rectangular ones so whether it's a rare one I don't really know the usual nondescript coins that we dig up probably Victoria could be anything that is what's left of a George the third half penny that is a George the third half penny you can just about see his bust Queen Victoria Queen Victoria both half pennies late Victoria so they'll be somewhere around the 1890s now that coin there the lovely little silver coin I dug up is a bit of a mystery the coin itself is quite normal but if you look in the bottom left hand corner you can see the letters JP stamped over the monarch's name they're actually stamped over the letter G for George now I've never seen that before and I can't find any examples of it on the internet at all in fact I can't find any examples on the internet with the engravers mark on them so whether it was some sort of mistake they made at the mint I don't really know or whether it's some sort of rarity I don't really know if anyone out there has any thoughts or any ideas on it please let me know but it definitely requires further investigation I will put a photograph of it at the end of this video clip that I took with the digital microscope so you can see it a lot more clearly okie dokie right well those are the finds for the day my friend or should I say friends Right, I'll just pop that down and don't go away because I've got a couple of shout outs that I want to make. Right, firstly, I want to say thank you to Tom from Cheshire Metal Detecting for inviting me down this weekend. I thoroughly enjoyed it, I always do, so thanks Tom, appreciated mate. Now the first shout out I want to make is for a metal detecting channel called SIS11 Detecting World Review. Have you got that? S C I double S SIS11 Detecting World Review. It's a good channel, he's a nice bloke, and he finds some nice bits and pieces. So pop over, give him a thumbs up, and give him a sub. Okie dokie. The other shout out is for an American channel called The House a very nice man and wife team another good channel and they find some nice stuff as well and it's interesting okie dokie so pop over and give them a watch and I know I've already mentioned the Somerset searches before but go back and give them another look because Bill's just found a gold coin and it's worth looking at just for the bonus footage at the end and that's all I'm saying okay Right, thank you for joining me, I do appreciate it, thank you to all my subscribers, new and old, it's great to have you all on board, and I'll see you all the next time round. Bye for now.